Cause like, <laughs> I just really don't feel. I'm messing with you. Okay. It's just, you can't zoom in anymore. No, it's still kind of small. Yeah. Dang, that sucks. The voice like just paused. Don't worry, nobody in there. Bro, I'm about to leave my seat and just stand in front of the camera and be like, "What's up, homies?" You guys ready? Yes. So before I start, so my pronunciation of the Greek gods and words will be weird, or might not be the one you're used to, because I'm gonna stick more to the much more Greek pronunciation. Like this spelling of Hephaestus will be much more different from the Romanized spelling. So here we go. This is Athena, the goddess of war, wisdom, and shop. And she's my favorite Greek goddess. And that's why it's pretty, pretty long. This is her right here. And let's start. So the early days of Athena, she was the daughter of Metis and Zeus. And when um, she was conceived, by Mutis inside of Zeus, but one day Zeus' uh, head kept growing grower and grower until he said to Hephaestus, Hey, split my head in half. So he did with his with his war axe, and then boom, Athena came out, and this is her right there. This is the painting, and this is the statue, and this is Athena. And then she's also Zeus's firstborn child. So even though the other gods have been in appearance before she did, before her, it was because she was inside Zeus the whole time, before she was born. And what else? So prior to being the goddess of wisdom, she actually got the wisdom from her mother before uh, spring out of Zeus's head. And she accident one day she accidentally killed her friend Pallas in a mock battle for like a training, and in honor of her, of her name. She added the name Pallas in her one of her epithets. That's why it ends Pallas Athena. Athena, god of strategic war. So she's one of the immortal goddesses and one of the one of the most intelligent and wisest god. And then there's this device, it's called the Aegis, and it's either depicted as a shield with Medusa's head on it, or an animal skin, or a leather cloak. I'll get into more of that later. But Zeus, since Zeus loves Athena very much, he lets her use this device that's pretty helpful for battle and stuff. So why did Athena punish Medusa? You know, Medusa was very beautiful, and one day Poseidon came in and raped her, and then she was, Medusa was asking for help in Athena's temple, but Zeus did the, I mean, Poseidon did the stuff on Medusa. Many people have said Athena, Athena is merciless for cursing Medusa with a snake. But one thing, one thing many people do not think about is that with this, the snake's on her head, no man can no longer touch her or rape her. Since if you look into her eyes, boom, you're petrified. So, yeah. And there's an amazing difference between Athena and Ares because since they are both goddess, gods of war, Ares is a brutal war. He fights without thinking. He just goes in and put it on But Athena, she's more on strategy. So she thinks, she thinks before she fights. All right. And Athena is also called the helper of heroes because she's helped many heroes before, like Odysseus, Heracles, or Hercules, Perseus, Diomedes, and more. She also helped the Achaeans against Troy. This is the Greek horse you know happened after. This is one of the elements. This is when it's actually in another side. So being wisest, one of the most wise of the gods, even other gods, and he was asked for her counsel and advice. Okay. So this one is Athena helping in Diomedes. This is in the big Trojan War. And this is when Perseus killed Medusa because he wanted her head for trophy. This is Athena helping Odysseus. I forgot what the story was about. George, I think she helped him consume Odysseus. For Odysseus? Um, what are you talking about? Odysseus. No, what about? I forgot what the story was. Then you're find out in a couple weeks, so then I can talk about it. <laughs> so, we all know Athena for her helmet, and yeah, this appearance of Athena. She has either black or dark brown hair, 
and she has a graceful build emanating power and authority. That's why she has Knight Arniki or Knight Ruther and his spear. And she wears a crested Corinthian helmet, as you can see over there. And she is a majestic lady with a beautiful face, but a stern face as well. So that means even with a beautiful face, she has a pretty and smiling straight face. So she, she looks a bit authoritarian, a bit serious. And she is regally clad in chitin, I don't know how to pronounce it, or full armor, or maybe both. And then she also has gray eyes. None of these pictures are zoomed in, but she has gray eyes, all right? And she also has unsmiling full lips, which adds to her emanating power and authority. Can you see the owl's well, guys? Yeah? Okay. So when you recognize the crested, Put the helmet, the spear, and the ages, and also Dina. And some facts about her. She is the favorite daughter of Zeus, and she has lots of rivals, such as Poseidon, Ares, Aphrodite, Paris, Troy, and his defenders. And she is known for creating, inventing tools such as the plow, uh, what do you call it again? The plow, the rake, the chariot and the warship. She's also known for being the patroness of spinning and weaving. And then she's the female counterpart of Ares in war, and she's also the female counterpart of Hephaestus in um, arts and crafts. All right. And there's two possibilities. The city of Athens either got the name from Athena, or Athena got the name from Athens. Uh, she is, and she's obviously the patient of the city of Athens. And her symbols are either the owl or the olive branch. And she's also a virgin goddess. But Erythonius is an exception, just because uh, even if Hephaestus tried to violate her, he <coughs> on the earth instead. So Athena is only his foster mother. I know it's so long. Okay, now we're going to talk about how Athens is the city of Athena. So one day, like Camden said, Poseidon and Athena had a quarrel. Who should be patronist of the city? At first, it was called Cecropia, because Cecrops was the king. Zeus wanted uh, patronage by either giving them a horse or a seawater stream that uh, walled up in the temple of the north side or the part of the Acropolis. And then Athena just came in and said, no, I will be patroness of the city. And then, so she, she did something simple. She just, she just put the spear down and boom, there came an, an olive tree. So the king chose Athena as the winner because he, he knew that the people would need the olive tree more because he provided them oil, wood, and fruit. Come on, who doesn't love fruit, guys? And boom, Poseidon got very mad, and yeah. This is a comparison video, get ready for this. It's gonna be very long. This is like the reason why I did not want to be. Hold on. So, here, first bit. <laughs> Who are these people sitting down watching this? Yourself. Why am I here? Oh, I'm inside a computer screen. Okay. And uh, who are you? I am you. I am you? Yes. <laughs> if I am you, what is my name? Your name is Patrick. Right, but I am Patrick. And what is your name? My name is Patrick, of course. Your name is Patrick, so how, how is this possible, guys? Can you, can you believe this? You were in the computer screen, and I'm in real life. Okay, okay. You're saying I'm in the computer screen, and you are in real life? Yes, that's 
So exactly the same. Oh, okay. I, I guess I'm, this is from the past. This is present. Okay. Uh, what, what, what am I here for? Uh, you didn't do your part in the project. Right. I did not do a part in this project again. So what, what must we do? We must do comparison. Oh, comparison. Between what? Uh, real Athena and Disney Athena. Okay. Real life Athena and Disney Athena. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, as you are watching me, talking to me, here is how the magic will work. I will be representative for Disney Athena, and my real life self will be representative for actual real life Athena. So, what do you want to do first? The similarities or differences? Let's uh, do differences. Uh, differences? Yes. Okay, sure, we can do that. We start? I start? Yeah, you go start. Okay. okay. So, first, okay, we're going to talk later. You should talk and then we do the talking. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So the first thing you notice is that uh, Athena has white hair in the Disney movie. movie. Well, why is this crucial? Because in the real life, this real life Athena, what color hair color does she have? Uh, she has a dark brown hair. Okay. Oh, dark brown, dark brown. So then that's a huge difference because dark brown and white are really really different and then yeah what else what else do we uh, you know owl. oh right right good job owl okay so the color of the owl in disney movie is blue but what is it in real life in real life it is gray gray yes gray owl yes okay let's see uh what what, what else uh the, the, the garment the garment she wears. Yes. Okay. What garment? What color uh, garment she wears? Uh, she wears. And what, what's the garment called again? It's called a chitin. I still don't pronounce okay. it. Okay. Okay. I, I cannot pronounce that, so I'll try later. So what, what color she wear again? Uh, she either wears mostly white, but also in other colors. Okay. So in the Disney movie, this uh, chitin is blue. So she wears a blue chitin. It's confusing pronunciation. I've been trying to find all over YouTube how to pronounce it. And then now that now we have three differences, what's another difference can you find? Another difference is. Uh, I'll do this one. Okay. I'll do this one. Okay, you go to uh, another difference you can find is that in the movie, Athena uh, acts and looks rather like a, a merciful goddess. But uh, in real life, is she really. Wise and merciful are different things. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Wisdom and mercy are two different things. And this is for <laughs> Wisdom and mercy are two different things. All right? Okay. So the difference is um, between the ages in the Disney movie and the ages in real life. There are actually two types of ages. The shield and the cloak. I'm not good at explaining, so I'll just let him explain, all right? So pause the video, and then when he finishes, play the video again. Pause it now. So I explained, I already explained the ages to you guys. It's either a shield with Medusa's face on it, or either the leather cloak or animal skin. So you you explained it now? Yeah, I explained it very quickly. You guys understand? Yes, you understand. Make sure you understand. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Okay. <laughs> So, I'm going to explain the ages. Uh, now, the fifth difference is Nike. So, Nike is the goddess of victory. And then, in real life Athena, God, uh, Nike is sometimes beside Athena, right? With Athena, right? Yeah, Athena. Before. Yes, but in the Disney movie, there's no uh, goddess Nike. No, no, no. Not this type of Nike. Oh, they actually got the brand name Nike from the Goddess of Victory. Nike! As to say, hey, we're the strongest competitor of the shoe game, the athletics game. We got the victory. You know what I mean? Now let's go to the similarities. So, the first most obvious similarity is that both Athenas wear a what? A Corinthian helmet. That's right. A Corinthian helmet. 
uh, please explain to them uh, the second similarity. Uh, second similarity is the, the spear. They both have a spear, a long spear. Okay? Exactly. A spear. Both Athena's real life and Disney have a spear. A spear is one of the weapons. So that's amazing. And the third similarity I found is both Athena's have owls. Yes. But of course, they're different color than owls. But yeah. Amazing, amazing. And um, yeah. So yeah. Was that all? I think that was all. Uh, too much time. It's over yeah, that's true. It is past seven minutes. Yeah, right. Okay, okay sorry, Miss Sullivan. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. okay. All right. So that was uh, the similarities and differences that we could find in a Disney movie and in the real life. So give me a little fist bump before I leave. Okay, okay. Ah, yeah. There's this 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 border that's just separating us from a fully doing fist bump, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 Give me my. I'll give you rice bowl. Yeah, yeah. Give me my rice bowl. Uh, bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Boom. That was it, guys. Hey, don't watch this one. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> There we go, and this is my sources, uh, the one Miss Sullivan gave us, and myself, because it's so nice. And that was it, guys. Sorry for being too long. I apologize for taking it. Thank you. Thank you. Sixteen minutes. Yo, should I end the video? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, thank you.